your girl Candace and I'm back with another video. Valentine's Day is right around the corner so of course people are kind of figuring out ideas to express their love to their significant other so I thought I would do a video to kind of help you out. Obviously yes if you want to take your significant other out and you know go to restaurants and things like that that is obviously a beautiful and wonderful thing to do but I'm telling y'all y'all can make it do what it do at home. So in today's video I'm going to be showing you a quick easy affordable yet kind of bougie fancy upscale meal that you can cook for your significant other for Valentine's Day. So I hope that you guys enjoy this video. Let's get into it. So really quick, I just wanted to show you guys. I had this charcuterie board. Me and my mom have been munching on it though. Um, I made this mini charcuterie board on this cutting board with this package here. It's the Murray's and they have all different types with different cheeses, different crackers, different meats. This package I got from Kroger for $2.99. So you can have like a little appetizer or a little charcuterie board if you just want to do something small on Valentine's Day. And I just wanted to give you guys um, a selection of wines that have slowly become, well, not slowly but fast, become my favorite wines. Right now in my glass is this bottle here, the Stella Rosa Red. If you like sweet wines, Stella Rosa is a great starter. Over here you have Oliver. I love Oliver. They are not as sweet as Stella Rosa but still a sweet wine that if you're trying to get yourself into liking wine, Wine. They're a great selection. This is their sweet rosé. I also like their white wine, their Moscato. This is ash actually a, a Riesling. This one is not sweet, so if you are not used to wines, brute, then this is not for you. It's crisp. It has a bite to it. It's brute. If you wanted a white wine that is brute, if you don't like sweet wines, this is a great option for you. So I just thought that I would suggest a few wines. I have tons of other wines that I could suggest, but these are the ones that I have on hand. And they're also cheap too. Stella Rosa, 10 bucks. This Riesling, $9. This Oliver, 7 bucks. These are all cheap wines that you can get from your local grocery store and they're all delicious. So tonight I am making pan seared lemon butter scallops with a white wine mushroom risotto and some lobster crab cakes. So you want to start off by cutting off some lemons and adding your scallops to a colander so you can just rinse them off and add the lemons in there to give it a good flavor but also help with cleaning the scallops. And then I'm just using these store-bought crab cakes. I know that they're packaged, but they are actually really delicious and super easy to make. Pop them in the oven at 400 for about 20 minutes. And in the process, you wanna heat up your chicken broth for your risotto and cut up a shallot. Next, you wanna measure out one cup of wine for the risotto, add some olive oil to a pan, let that heat up to medium high heat, add your shallots and let them sweat for a little bit, and then you're gonna add in your risotto rice. You're gonna to toss that around until you get a nutty aroma, and then you're gonna add in your one cup of white wine. You want to make sure that you're constantly stirring your risotto and as soon as the white wine is soaked up into the rice then you want to slowly add your hot chicken broth bit by bit you want to add that let that soak up then add some more then you want to take your shallots out of the colander place them on a sheet and dry them completely because they have tons of moisture in them you want to go ahead and saute your mushrooms first i just added them with some butter in a pan and added some salt pepper garlic powder set them aside and then add your scallops to the exact same pan these only take about two minutes per side to cook so add those to the pan sear them get a golden crust flip them over and then set them aside and keep pan searing the rest then you want to move on to your risotto once it soaks up all of the chicken broth and it is to your desired texture you want to go ahead and add as much parmesan cheese and as much mushrooms if you like or you can completely leave it out and lastly melt down some butter with garlic lemon juice and parsley pour that over your scallops plate up and enjoy So you have your pan seared scallops with lemon butter sauce, your mushroom white wine risotto, you have your easy yummy crab cakes, your charcuterie board if you want, light a candle, get some flowers, have a glass of wine, and then there you have it. Valentine's Day dinner. Easy, affordable, and delicious. So there you go. 
very quick, very delicious. Sometimes the little things like cooking dinner for someone or sitting down and lighting a candle and having a glass of wine says so much when it comes to showing how much you love them. So I'm going to go ahead and eat my dinner. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure you give it a big thumbs up for your girl. Please comment, share, subscribe. Stick around for a while because I'd love to have you. And there's lots more fun videos to come. I hope that you guys have a great Valentine's Day. And I'll see you in my next one. Love you guys. It'll never go. I know that we all gonna be alright. We gon' make it through if it takes us all night. No matter what the odds may bring our way, I can see the blessings coming our way. Yeah, yeah, yeah.